Hello everyone. For this video, it's the episode review. If you're wondering how I watch these episodes, I get a VPN, a VPN. I go to the Coro Coro YouTube channel, C-O-R-O-C-O-R-O, -O -O -O, and that's how I watch the episodes. I make sure the country said in Japan, Coro Coro YouTube channel. I say it every time, so if people are wondering, easy way to do it, and I have to keep on deleting comments, like every single week, we might actually, there's this unofficial source that I'm gonna just comment. Anyways, uh, let's get started. I do have some interesting news. So people were talking about the shadow from last week and for the people who thought it was a new character, you're wrong. <laughs> there was no new character. Why were people reaching so hard? Oh. Wasn't even, there, there, it wasn't even like substantial like evidence for like a new character too. It was just like, oh, there's a shadow. Well, it has to be a new character. Oh my God. Anyways, uh, it starts off with uh, Hyuga having a dream sequence where he doesn't want Rantaro as his partner and he wants Vault. And you basically get this thing where Dream Hikaru and Dream Aiga are taunting him. He wakes up and basically they're all everyone's trying to find their own tag partner. And it, it, it's really cool, right? And you get this funny sequence with Rantaro. He's like, no, I don't think I'd partner with them. And it's you get like this little funny little chibi uh, moment. Rantaro makes a funny face. And yeah, everyone's off to meet partners. This one it was really interesting. So Free is in his little forest and he's approached by Silas. That, or Cisco, whatever you want me to say. That is a very interesting pairing with uh, Fafnir and Kursadin. I do like the idea that uh, Cisco, even though he's been bodied by Free constantly, uh, that he decided to team up with Free. That's actually kind of smart on his part. Uh, that's going to be a very interesting pairing, considering the fact that Kursaden, in the anime anyways, has really crazy defensive abilities, and Fafnir can spin steal. Uh, I think they're a pretty awesome duo. So that is definitely a cool one. Oh, and you, you get this segment where basically Walkie's just really excited, and he's just uh, talking about their bays and everything. Uh, after that, it's so Hyuga and Hikaru are trying to look for Volt and Aiga, so obviously Hikaru wants Aiga and Hyuga wants Volt. Uh, they find Drum, and there's this funny little sequence, and every single scene with Drum is always going to be good. If anybody tells you otherwise, they're, they're, they're wrong. Uh, moving on, you get this really cool moment where Ranjiro's in a, I guess a new outfit? Weighted training outfit, maybe? He's basically practicing because ever since, uh, you know, Lane basically kicked him out of the first festival because he broke his arm, he's been practicing. So I do like that they're not forgetting Ranjiro. Uh, you know, at least, at least they're staying true this season. They're not forgetting the cast that they have. So, you know, we gotta pay our respects where it's uh, due. So he's practicing and Aiga jumps in and Aiga wants him to be his partner, which I thought was really cool. And, you know, they're bringing back Ranjiro with Aiga, and that's going to be a very unique duo. Because, you know, obviously, with everything that happened in Cho Z, I think that's really nice that they did that. And, and uh, Ranjiro does get emotional. I like this scene a lot. It goes to show the relationship that the characters have and how they've been built over these uh, seasons. Which is something really nice. You even have him blushing. That's so... <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. It is Ranjiro and Aiga as a duo. And yeah, Rintaro is still trying to look for one, and Vault's like, oh, Honcho! And yeah, they're a duo, and dude, the best, the best dragon duo. They got, they got Louie and Drum as a tag team. And <laughs> there's this funny part where they're talking to each other, and they just both laugh. Uh, I, this was, this, they, they have pretty good pairings uh, for this one. There's also one really surprise one. So obviously again, yeah, we're talking about the character moment. So they're announcing all the ones. Now this one, you know, this scene, I thought at first that Harry was not trusting Lane or something. No, it was because someone was walking in and you see Harry hissing. Dude, it's Shu and he has a new outfit and it looks so, so cool. So Shu wants to work with Lane in this tag team. And that's gonna be a pretty insane pairing. Shu and Lane? They're technically like the strongest ones in sparking, I would say. Then after you get like Vault, and then after you get like Aiga, 
I feel like these two have the best chance right now in this uh, tag team. So obviously they're announcing... Oh, yeah, after that, by the way, I, I keep on forgetting. Yeah, the twins are... Yeah, the twins are with each other. Are, aren't the twins with each other? Anyways, uh, for the preview for next week, it's something really interesting, which I this is going in the thumbnail for sure. Uh, there's a new stadium. Now, knowing the trend of sparking, all right, Hasbro already did one, Volt Knockout. This is going to be the Hasbro's next stadium. Uh, I, I believe how it works is that the center is like, so it's, it's kind of like this thing where it kind of like it delves down and basically... I think it's like I think it is it I think it's free spinning in the center or something, uh, like a trembling stadium or something like that. Uh, now I'm trying to think if we've had a stadium like that. We've kind of already had a stadium like that released by TT. But the thing is, I think Hasbro will definitely do this one. The reason why I think Hasbro will definitely do this one is just because listen, they've been doing every time the anime introduces a new stadium, Hasbro's like, all right, we'll take it. Uh, as far as this episode goes. You could probably skip it. It's not really like something that was really important, per se. It was just everyone trying to find a partner. But uh, I, again, I do like the character interactions and everything. I really like Shu's new outfit. Uh, I guess they finally decided to make the characters in different outfits. Uh, is there anything else I want to say for this episode? No, I think that's it. I think it was a solid episode for the character interactions at least. I liked it for that. Uh, next week will be exciting. Next week's gonna be a lot more exciting since we basically got, I think it's like Shu and Lane versus Hugo and Akaru, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, you can definitely stay tuned for that battle. Uh, I know, I definitely wanna record that. But that's gonna be it for now. So I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you all for watching and hope you all have an awesome and amazing day. Bye.